good day viewers welcome to cybertech arena uh, in this video i'll be showing you how to add your free ssl certificate uh, to your uh, fishing um, simulation though i've made this video before and after the whole thing i found out i didn't turn the micro mic on so i'll make it faster now so so before we proceed for the hacking is illegal if you must hack do it with appropriate permission and do it ethically so if you've been following my video i taught you how to get a, a free domain uh, in quote subdomain so you can get that from cloud dns i made a video about that okay so by now i also assume you already have a vps provider where you already pointed your vps um ip to your d uh, your the dns of the domain you got so i did mine with digital ocean i taught you how to get a free digital ocean um, credit valid for 60 days okay so now let's proceed with the video uh, the first thing you have to do is uh, we use this website zero ssl.com okay so the domain you want to use though i already made this video so i just want to walk you through how everything went through okay so in my real domain i use the techarena.cloud.dns.b um, but in this video i created uh, this domain dot ch just to walk you through so so you see what i did in my goldfish installation okay so here's our domain so i'll use this one uh, you copy it you go to this website zero ssl.com so we we want uh, okay enter your primary domain i'll put the domain you put your domain you click on next okay so for you it's going to ask you to create an account i already did that it's easy to create an account you just put your email and password okay you're going to get to a dashboard to this dashboard so the next thing you have to do is go to new certificates so in this new certificate it's going to ask you for your domain so i'll just paste the domain i want to use for this don't add space okay so you click on next so instead of one year since you don't want to pay for it you use 90 days so you go to next so we don't need any add-on because we don't want to pay for anything okay we click on next so csr and contact we use auto generate okay so we go to next uh here at the final finalize your order so we just go back here you click here because we don't want to pay monthly or yearly for it so we're left with a free um sub subscription or option so you click on next step so now you can see your certificate has been created and it's ready for domain verification all right let's proceed to domain verification so here you click on dns c name okay so here's what you have to do they want us to verify the domain we need to verify ownership of the domain so we go to c name they said verify your domain using a c name record please follow the step below sign into your dns provider i'm using a cloud dns as you can see i showed you a video on how i got this okay so they said navigate to the session where dns record are managed so let's navigate to the session where dns record is managed you can do this in any uh domain registry namecheap hostinga whatever just anyone it's just the same process just the same record you just need to create okay so i already did this this is my original one where i did the whole thing but i'm using this one to walk you through so most of the things i will do it actively so let's say this i click this you just click on the domain okay uh, okay so now what's the next thing they ask us to do add the following c name record so here you copy from here don't copy from where your domain name start copy every other thing before there you go here 
So we need to add the assets to the assets to add a, a C name record. Okay. So here's the C name. You go to add records. Then you paste what you copied here. Okay. Like you can see, as you can see everything um, you copied, then you see the dot cybertech dot cloud dns you see your domain from there okay so the next one you copy all this here copy all this you paste it here you point it to here okay you click on save so that's the c name record so it's going to take about five to ten minutes so here we go to since we already did that we go to next uh, verify domain so as you can see mine is verified it said congratulations your domain have been verified this means that our system is issuing your certificate at the moment this page will refresh automatically so for you maybe it's going to take five to ten minutes sometimes it's a bit time consuming but at least within five ten fifteen minutes it should be done so when it's done it's going to bring you to a page where you can download the certificate so we wait for it here it's also still propagating here okay so we're, we're waiting for the, the this thing here to finish so i'll meet you up when it's done so welcome back as you can see it's done it took approximately about five to eight minutes <coughs> sorry so uh you're going to see this download certificate when it's done okay so you click on download so it's going to be a zip file so okay so let's go to our download folder so in your download folder here this is what it's going to look like this is the one i installed before so mm, let me just uh delete this so in your download folder it's going to be um, a zip file okay so you need to unzip it so you can right click to unzip it you go to i have seven zip so i'll just uh, extract here so it's going to show you these three uh this thing the certificate file and the ca bundle the private so what we need is this certificate file it's dot cr and this private this is uh dot key okay so we need to start our gofish instance okay so let's go to uh, ssh roots you put the at the ip of your vps instance you click on enter so um, so we need our password you put the password you click on enter so we are in so uh, ls i want you to see what you're going to just pay attention to this part so now yours you won't have most of these things here okay uh, this is how i got mine so since i don't want to stress myself much so my certificate um my certificate file what's the name here again uh it's private and it's certificate right here's what i did so you use this uh command touch you put the name so let's say private like you can see mine now i already did this so the first file i created private.key so you do touch private dot key you hit enter what this command does is it creates a file but it's an empty file okay once you hit enter i won't do it because i already did that so then the next one you need to do also is this this um certificate dot crt okay you just put touch touch is the command so you put certificate dot crt so you hit enter so i won't do mine because i already did mine okay so the next thing you also have to do is you need to edit these files and put the keys we want inside so we use a text editor called nano so i will use this is the command you can use any text editor uh, so i'll be using this one so let me start from the private key 
so i'll go to nano so since i created it private uh, dot key so i'll open it yours will be empty mine already has something inside so here's what you're going to do that file you downloaded let's go to the private so you open it you can right click yours might not be opening uh, so you just right click you go to open with then you can choose a um, notepad so notepad is the best so you can copy what you want to copy so when you go open with notepad so it's going to open like this copy everything inside with control a control c okay then you go to your uh this thing the this thing you already opened with nano and you put control v which is paste just paste it inside so when you're done you press um control o to write it out you hit enter then you press control x to exit so you're done with that so the next one you need to edit also is the certificate.cr so you use nano you go to this um certificate.cr when you open it it's the same thing yours will be empty i already pasted mine so yours should be empty so you also go to this certificate file here you download it you right click so you go to open with the same notepad so you copy everything with the same command control a control c so we go back to our installation yours should be empty here also so you control v or just paste it anyhow you want so when you do that the same thing you press on ctrl o to write it out which is to save it you hit enter then you press on ctrl x to exit so the final thing we need to um, edit is the config.json file so we use nano config.json so now here is it from the beginning so mine i want to use the certificate both for my dashboard and my login page okay so that is why what you're going to do the name of your certificate you put it here you're going to see something yours will be like um admin or something that's the one for go go fish so you just clean it and put just the way i put this so in the key part you put whatever you named your private your key so mine i named it private dot key so in the server part i everything is okay yours you have port 80 here port 80 is not secured so port 443 it's secured so you use port 443 here okay then you add the certificate uh whatever you name your certificate mine is certificate.sat so the key part mine my key is private.key so everything is said then i uh, use ttl tls true here you use tls true so your port remains the same from my previous video i taught you also since if you're installing in a vps server you have to make sure you remove you put this to be 0, .0, .0, .0, 0 this is the listing URL. so when you're done it's the same thing Control a to write it out you hit enter then Control x to exit so now let's start our gofish instance to test all we have done so go fish so you hit enter okay so you know what your um what your domain is the domain you're doing it for so i'll use my original domain so this one i use is the testing one so i'll just go back to get my original domain okay so you understand what i'm saying so here um here's my domain so so you go to this you go to your domain after you follow this instruction you hit on enter so it said page not found yes we did not i did not add the port so whatever your port is i left mine the default port which is 3333 so i'll hit enter as you can see here you look here you see connection is secured okay when you go there you see connection is secured certificate is valid okay then let's log in and see how it goes if the ssl still works there admin 
okay here the sign in as you can see also the this thing connection is also secured meaning my ssl certificate is on my login page and on my dashboard so there's something i also want to correct here like somebody made in the comment section that is looking for the password the password is the same look the first time you sign into your gofish installation okay your password should be in the first 10 lines i did that video already i showed you so when you get the password what you're going to do is your username is admin when you impute it and you put your password you'll be asked to change your password so whatever password you change to whenever you want to log in that's the password you're going to use then there's also a question where somebody said um if they can use their uh, computer ip or what i didn't understand the question but my answer to that is why use your computer ip or whatever since you can you i taught you how to get a go um a digital ocean um a subscription for at least 60 days free you don't need to pay for it i also taught you how to use a cloud dns to get a free domain so you don't need to pay anything i also thought now in this video i'm teaching you how to install a free zero ssl at least valid for every 90 days so i'll be ending this video here if you have more questions you can ask in the comment section please like share subscribe okay when you watch the video you like it helps with the youtube algorithm it helps us to grow so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video